Brian Powell of I Run Far here with Devin Yanka before the 2018 IU 100K World Championships. How are you, Devin? I'm great. How are you? All right. It's been a uh, a while since we've we've chatted, but we chatted on camera. Yeah. Um, and haven't really seen you race too much lately. Uh, it seems like you've maybe shifted a little bit more toward the roads of late. Is that true? Well, the whole broken foot th saga of the last two years yeah. kind of held me back a little bit. And then I just raced things that you weren't at, like Leadville last year. Yeah. I mean. Or Comrades this year. Yeah, Comrades. Um, yeah, the beginning of this year, I didn't get to race a lot, but that was coming back from the foot and a lot of health issues. Mm -hmm. um, so it was training fine, but I like would get sick right before going to races. Um, Not ideal. No. And I mean, I finally unraveled what's been causing that over my career because I've usually been more towards sickness than towards injury. Okay. But now I know why. So um, it's nice, like in, in the long future ahead of me, uh, then I can kind of not have that be a problem. And is it not a problem right now? <laughs> we'll find out in two days, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like Before I got on the airplane, like I woke up that morning and I was like, wait, okay, <laughs> am I getting sick? And then I'm like, no, it's totally. No, it's just. It, yeah. Taper jitters. Yeah, it's like getting on an international <laughs> plane. You're like, wait, do I feel 100% right? And I'm like, whatever. I feel good. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. It I mean, feels good to have that sorted out. Because, I mean, a lot of people can get sick at sort of end of training cycles because you're yeah. just stressed. Yeah. But you... And, I mean, it's weird because this summer hasn't. So, Comrades is the beginning of June. Yeah. And that was, like, my big focus for yeah. the beginning of the year. So, having, like, a kind of a weird summer, it, I never felt like I had that same, like, kind of like peak mentality towards this race. Um, my training was really good, but it was more like holding on, trying yeah. to hold on to You're what sustaining. I had. Yeah. yeah. And so I think that stresses the system less. Um, so hopefully. Nice. Yeah. And comrades went well. Yeah, comrades went, I mean, I still have, it's like my white whale. Like yeah. I, I have not yet had like the day that I feel like I'm capable of, mm -hmm. but that's why I keep going back because it is, you know, a really hard race to figure it out because you have to go at such a speed over a crazy distance with like a decent amount of climbing and descending Yeah, and it's really competitive and the atmosphere is crazy. So it's like, I'm really satisfied with seventh. I mm -hmm. mean, I ran really hard. I think I was like, my fitness range was basically like, I could have run up in like podium speed, but it's like you have the day that you have. Yeah. Um, and I'm really proud of like the way that I pushed and like for the team that I run with, I was the first person on our team. Yeah. And so like that mentality like really pushed me at the end where I was like running right on that line where I'm like down that hill where you're like, this could be like, if I go one second per mile faster, I might just be like on a heap on the ground. <laughs> so I don't, I was really proud of like making that type of effort Yeah. where like ultra running, I feel like, a lot of the time I'm like trying to, you're trying to stay away from the line. I mean, yeah, well, it's like yeah. especially like a trail hundred miles or something. Yeah. Like if you're pushing that line anywhere yeah. until the last 10 miles or whatever, like exactly. you're, yeah. there's too much risk. Yeah. Like last year at Leadville, like I was basically like, I don't care what anybody else is doing. I'm staying like here because being from zero feet and being at 10,000 feet, I was like, if I go over that line, you're I'm not, done. And yeah. that showed itself in the race with people. And yeah. there I was. Plodding along. So this is this is no comrades, but it's, it's similar in many respects. Yeah. And it similar distance. Uh, it's actually not a flat course. Yeah. It's not quite as hilly as yeah. comrades, but I know when we were, we were driving in, I was like, <laughs> "Hello, hill." It's a, it's, yeah, it's rolling. I mean, which... it's like twenty five hundred to three thousand feet of climb, probably. Yeah, the that's course. what they said. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Sweet. That's yeah. something you're used to. I mean, it actually makes me happier because, like. Uh, in previous 100Ks, because this is my fifth time being on the team. The fifth? Okay. Fifth. I, we were thinking three. Well, I, I finished three. Okay. Um, the last one I did in uh, 2011, I got food poisoning. Ooh. Yeah, that was brutal. Uh, but when Shoten, that's like pancake flat. And, you yes. know, God bless Marin, but there is not more than like a mile of flat to be had. You know, so like it, doing a flat race, I usually get in like 20 miles, then I'm like... <laughs> nope, I've been using that. How are the, how's that, how's that hip yeah. flexor doing? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this much of my hamstring hurts. So this actually bodes well for like the type of training that I've done. Nice. Um, so, are you yeah. excited to be back on the team after such a long break? I mean, I was pleasantly surprised when I got selected. My time at Comrades uh, actually moved me from being like as the alternate, moved me up the list. Um, and at Comrades, I will say it's the first time in my ultra running career where I was like, done, like, I don't need to do this anymore. You know, I've been doing it for 12 years, yeah. which 
these days, that's starting to get up there, you yeah, know. You've been, you've been doing it for a while. I'm an old, yeah. And it, considering we're only 36, that is saying something. But, you know, as soon as I got that spot, I was like, oh, it's in Croatia. I've never been there, you know. And I, I've always want. what I like about this team is the team aspect, mm -hmm. you know. And I don't think, that, you know, that just doesn't exist in a lot of the events. And I've run, I've had so much fun in the past with my teammates, some of whom, like Megan Arbogast, I, well, Megan Laws, Laws now. You, I'm like, we have been on all these teams together. It's so awesome. That is cool. And some new members of the team as yeah, well. Exactly. So. Yeah. So it's I love that aspect and just being around all I think we have like forty two countries here. It's amazing. You know, I walked in and the entire South African team was like, Devin. I was like, This is what I love. I love my South Africans. <laughs> yeah, they're here. And uh, I don't uh, Megan wrote the women's preview, so yeah. I haven't checked it out as in depth. But I know like, the men's team is yeah, yeah, incredible. On paper, I'd say they can't lose, except the Japanese team is yeah, also. And I mean, like I I read the women's preview because I know nothing about like the women who run the hundred k. Yeah, and it's like one of those things where you're like, wow, that's a really fast PR. And then you're like, wait, was I even alive when that was run? And you're yeah. like trying to figure it out. And I honestly, it doesn't change how I yeah. race. Um, I and I don't know like. The people who com have comrades times listed, then I'm like, I understand, like, I have a metric for that. You Other people, I'm just that. like, yeah. And it, again, like, even at races like Western States, you know, we talked, that was the last time you and I talked. Well, on camera. Okay. Uh, we talked 20, a lot of times. 20, 2016 <laughs> Western States, where it's like the idea of like competition, but that's not what I'm focused on because it's, it's not basketball. They can't like block my shot, you know, like, I mean, they could trip me, but <laughs> that's probably not going to happen. It's not like, you know, and so, Focusing on my own effort is kind of how I get through it versus yeah. wondering what other people are going to do. So are there, but are there people in the field? There are people you've raced against in the past and people, yeah. uh, do you at all gauge off them or just like, I to mean, imagine running independently well, for hundred K on the road yeah. is going to be kind of mind numbing. Yeah. And I mean, in the past, what I've done is, uh, try to sync up with a teammate who okay. is going to go in like a, a relative range. And I think there's at least one or two teams. U.S. teammates yeah. who want to go within the range that I'm looking for. And so it's kind of like, I mean, I don't want to get locked into that, like, I must run blah, blah, blah per K, because that also, 100 times over, gets really not mind-numbing. So it's like, how about we work together for 50K and then see where we are? Yeah. And in the past, like, my best performance came from, actually, I wasn't feeling well, so I did, like, the... Um, with Megan Laws and one of my other teammates, I was like, I'll just like keep you guys going. And then when I need to die, you guys keep going. And then at a certain point in that race, they were like, I was like running backwards, like, you guys are doing great. Come on. And they're like, you need to go. And yeah. I, that was when I came in fourth. But that's, it was not because exactly. you were sitting on them. It no. just, yeah, it was like that yeah. mentality of like pulling my team. We were in, uh, I think we were in we were in podium position. I don't remember if it was gold or silver, but it like, yeah. you know, that mentality of doing something for the team as opposed to for yourself. And then it worked out. So that, totally. I mean, we ended up like, and even if you lose five minutes, or, at, you know, if you lose five minutes because you're with a teammate, yeah, that mental ease is yeah. probably priceless. Exactly. And I mean, having discovered that this course is more hilly, like mm -hmm. the idea of going after a PR, it's like, I don't, I don't know how to gauge, like, it's silly to be, like, committed to a pace when you don't actually know how it's going to run. Yeah. I'm sure, you know, when we go out for our morning jog, we'll be like, oh, okay. <laughs> here's that. Ratchet that back another five <laughs> <Yeah>. minutes. <laughs> here's our hike hill for five feet. But, <laughs> but you know, like, and also, like, with the experience at Comrades, which is so hilly, yeah. either direction, don't yeah. get it twisted, that no, the downhill, downhill is not, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, is, like, it actually works to that benefit, but it also only works if you're not overly zealous about like a pace number mm -hmm. because you're going to have that range. It's and, effort. Yeah. yeah. And uses the name of the game here. All right. Well, Devin, I hope you have an easy day out there <laughs> and enjoy it. Thank you.